Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Now, remember that Tyrese Maxi camp that we told y'all about? Well, over 200 kids showed up to get the chance to learn from a pro. Yeah, and how cool is that? Awesome. that you don't get to do that every day. And mm -hmm. obviously, Tyrese Maxi has fans here in Central Big Blue Nation who joined in on the free fun. But some campers traveled over 500 miles to That's attend wild. this camp. Josh Berrien joins us now with more, Josh. After interviewing him Saturday, I see why Big Blue Nation love themselves some Tyrese Maxey. The guy just has this aura about him where no matter what room he's in, his presence alone changes the atmosphere. His infectious smile and playfulness brought joy to everyone in the Joe Craft Center Saturday as he hosted his free 1% skills camp to Lexington Youth. Take a look. Hello, how you doing? I'm well, how you doing? I'm living life. Life's great. What's up? It feels great, man. Uh, you know, it, it's really cool to see all the kids running around. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the camp, uh, some of these kids are 12 years old. But uh, when I was 12 years old, this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to play for Coach Cal. I wanted to be a uh, part of the Big Blue Nation. And uh, for them to be able to come here and get an experience like this uh, in Joe Craft and uh, you know, be able to touch a player in the NBA, I feel like it's a great experience. Yeah, it meant a lot to me because I was able to go to a few NBA camps like this when I was younger. I was able to go to the um, LaMarcus Aldridge camp, and then I also was able to go to the Chris Bosch camp. So um, to be able to come to this camp free, I wanted it to be like somewhere where everybody could come. Uh, no one had, had any, no limitations. It was just the first 200 or however many people that we uh, invite, I mean, that, we, that signed up. I wanted to be anybody, no matter what the background was. And I wanted a, a fair opportunity for everybody. So this has been great. Can I play? Yeah. You can come back in, okay? Let me, let me, let me have this. Come on, red team. Yeah. Red team. So my daughter's a huge, huge Sixers fan, huge Maxi fan, and she read about the camp that happened in Philadelphia on the Sixers app, I think on her phone, and was so bummed that she missed it. And then she realized that there were two other camps, one in Kentucky and one in Dallas, and um, we knew the Dallas one was a little far away from central Pennsylvania. So um, she was like, can we please, is there any way that we can make the drive to Kentucky and I said well let me see if registration is still open and if it is we'll take it as a sign and it was and so here we are in Lexington Kentucky <laughs> What makes you such a Tyrese Maxi fan? Um, I like how like spirited and like joyful he is, and he's like he always brings energy. I try to watch every game on TV, and then I've been to one Sixers game, the first playoff game last season, and then we're going to another one this season. Were you able to get one of the prizes uh, that was handed out? Yeah, I did. What was the prize for? The female MVP. Just from a parent's perspective, what did you think about today's camp? I could not believe how much interaction that he had with the kids. I thought he might come in and say hi for 15 minutes, and that would be great. Um, but he was in there doing the drills with them and high-fiving them. And he's always just, you can see the joy that he has playing this sport, and it's evident in the camp. And I, you know, for future camps, it's definitely worth making a nine-hour drive, for sure. <laughs> I can shoot! Uh, Emmanuel Quickly, Ashton Haggins, all of them. Which one, which one, which one, which one My granddaughter. She granddaughter. Played for Hoop Dream. She's probably the littlest one. See the one right there with the, uh, with next to the young lady with the uh, Phillies? Oh, right here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been playing now about two years for who yeah, dreams okay. he's traveling. Okay. What did you enjoy most about the camp? Um, meeting him and learning new skills. I really enjoyed the um, 5v5. I thought it was fun because I got to steal the ball from Tyrese. That was fun because I got to play with the NBA star and playing with other people I didn't know. So, yeah. What's the most important lesson that you learned from today's camp? 
um, to always have a, to be kind and always treat people the way you want to be treated. Somebody break this down. Go. Let's go. Hey, it doesn't matter what you do, uh, just grind and try to be successful at whatever it is. Uh, some of us will be teachers, lawyers, some of us will build companies, entrepreneurs, um, but still we all have the same goal, it's to get 1% better every single day and uh, be the best that we could possibly be at it. I mean, it's just crazy, man, to be honest with you, like, uh, to see everybody with Tari's Max here across their chest and uh, to be back here at, at UK at Joe Craft, where I used to work out, where I used to practice every single day. It's just amazing, man. It's a blessing. You know, I thank God for this opportunity to be able to give back like this. And uh, it just makes me happy to see, like, the kids smiling and the parents are happy. So, uh, you know, it's, just, it's a thing that we're going to try to do every single year. Maxi told campers that if basketball hadn't worked out, he probably would have been a teacher or physical education instructor because he loves working with kids. Thankfully for him and Kentucky basketball, his hoop dreams came true, and now thousands of kids look up to him as a role model. For BBN Tonight, I'm Josh Barian. Maggie, Anna, back to you. Josh, thank you so much. That was great stuff. We love Tyrese. We love his smile. How we love could his you joy. not? He's How great. Could you not? All right, we'll have more BBN Tonight right after this.